Hi. Hi. I thought I would do a wardrobe tour and show you all the things that are new in it in my wardrobe over the last few weeks, I guess. I've been having loads of luck recently with in-person vintage shopping, which is great because as much as I love eBay and Vinted and Depop, can often lead to a lot of disappointment with the way things fit or just the way things are in real life. I've been to Portobello Market twice now on two different Fridays. I feel like it is the best place to go and find coats and jackets. Like if you need a trench coat or you need a leather jacket, go to Portobello because you can try it on and find the perfect fitting one there. And you can also haggle. Don't be afraid to haggle. I go with my friend Susie and she always gets me to haggle for her. And I've just had a lot of luck there. So I'm gonna show you the things I've got and some other things. So since we're talking about Portobello, I'll show you all the things I found in Portobello so far. This denim jacket is Replay. He was trying to charge £100 for it. And so I started getting up similar ones on Vinted that were literally like £10. But because I loved the way this one fit on me and I couldn't find a similar one with the like bleaching along the edges, I got him down to 50 quid, which I think is so good because it was like half the price that he was trying to charge for it. I know 50 quid still seems like quite a lot, but I had just sold a denim jacket for 45 so it kind of made sense to me. And the denim jacket that I'd sold, I really liked. It was diesel and I'd bought it on Depop, but it was a little bit tight on my arms, whereas this one just fits so perfectly. So I was very happy with that. If you follow my Instagram or my TikTok, you will have also seen this jacket. It is like brown leather, kind of fitted, and it's got a really nice sort of like, I don't know how you would describe that, worn print, I guess. Um, and it just fit really nice and it really went with the outfit that I was wearing on the day that I bought it And so kind of rude not to buy it The guy was trying to sell it for 35 and I got it down to 30 And I just thought if I'd seen this on Depop I probably would have paid like 60 quid for it So I think 30 quid is great I walked past this chalet and it was 8 pounds 8 British pounds so Obviously I had to get it It was a bit dirty when I bought it But I just put it in the wash in like a little mesh bag And it was all sound, got all the makeup stains out And it's so cute, super soft and it's kind of giving alpine yummy mummy when I wear it, but I love it. I found this Afghan style coat. It's kind of like dark denim with like a faux fur trim. Again, it just like matched the outfit that I happened to be wearing that day. So it just felt rude not to get it. The girl whose stall it was at Portobello, her stock really reminded me of all the stuff that I find in my mum's house. Very similar brands, similar styles, similar items. And she was such a sweetie and she said she recognized me from my TikTok and haggled this one down too. I think it was supposed to be 145 and I got it for 100, which again, I know sounds like a lot, but for like a coat like this, I didn't think just that much. And it fits really nicely, it's so cute. I washed it when I got in and it's come out perfectly fine. Maybe my favorite thing in this haul to be confirmed. Okay, we have to talk about Pastime Chic. It's so cute. It's a little stall in Portobello and it's owned by this really cute, really wholesome husband and wife and the wife makes all the clothes. All the clothes are really like lacy, ballet core inspired, coquette, feminine, and just so lush. I feel like it's really fun to play around with that aesthetic. I bought this top, which really reminds me of something that I would find in my mum's house. And the way that it fits is just so good. I also bought this top from them. It's like a little blush, champagne, beigey pink top and it's super cute. It's got like lace um, trim around the edges. It's just a little bit tight around here. They don't fit in as well as they should um, but I love it so much so I might wear it and then if I hate how it looks in pictures I'll be very sad to sell it but hopefully they make it in the next size up or maybe I can send them a picture and ask them to make me like a size medium because I think this is like pretty pretty small. I also got this little lacy two piece from there. On Halloween I did like a bit of a um, last minute outfit. It's supposed to be kind of Marie Antoinette inspired. I wasn't really thinking I was going out on the Saturday because I went out on the Friday. So I hadn't really planned an outfit um, but I had a few things that I could just kind of throw together and turn it into a sort of costume and I have this stunning mesh dress from past trash but I've always been like mm, I don't know how I'm gonna wear this without just having full underwear out um, but this was literally like the perfect little slip skirt to put underneath and it's just adorable this is also from past time chic I'm just not obsessed with the color I might dye it the fit is really nice and it's super cute and dainty and feminine and just Sweet. The next thing I know there's gonna be some people who won't like it and that's fine And I feel like I was really encouraged or like being more experimental um, With my decision here because I was with my friend Susie and she is really experimental with her fashion and she has lots of fun with it And so I tried on this hat and I loved it and she really liked it And so I bought it and then I showed my boyfriend when I got home and he was like what the hell This is she 
I need to figure out what I'm gonna wear with it, like what outfit, but I do really like it. I don't care, it's cute. Now I'm gonna move on to the past trash section of this haul. I never normally have any luck with jeans. I just have a funny build. I'm like smaller on the waist and bigger on the thighs and it's impossible to find jeans and I hate trying on jeans. I don't even really like wearing denim because it's uncomfortable. But I walked past these jeans. I just tried them on because whenever I'm in the past trash shop, I literally never look at the sizing because vintage sizing is such a myth. It's so inconsistent. So if I just see anything I like, I try it on. And if it doesn't fit, then it's not for me. It's not meant to be and that's fine. And I tried these on and I, I really like the fit. So I bought them and I'm still actually trying to figure out what I would wear with them, which sounds silly because it's just jeans, but I just really don't wear jeans that often. The next thing is this top. It's like a sporty top with white piping. The piping is really flattering on my silhouette and I just think the shape of the t-shirt is lush. Kind of reminds me of the Tank Air t-shirt and it's just a good basic that's like a bit elevated. The next thing is this dress. I walk past past trash when I was heading to the peach Den pop up. They're on the same road, you can't go to one without going to the other. So I'll be going in a lot. It's like purple, midi length with like a frill hem. Don't judge me, but I walked past Brandy Melville yesterday and I was in there a couple of weeks ago with my little sisters. Saw this t-shirt and I know it's just a plain t-shirt, but sometimes Brandy Melville basics pop off. And then I got this black archive utility maxi skirt on Depop. It's from Trip TYC, the Depop shop. And it's just got lots of detail. It's like lots of different textures, a double zip. It's quite thick and I wore it last night and I didn't get cold. Buffalo Shoes reached out and wanted to give me a pair of shoes from one of their new collections. So I chose these olivey like dark green vegan loafers and I love them they're so comfy I wore them all day yesterday didn't get any blisters I got this diesel zip up recently and I was gonna sell it because I didn't love the way it looked with the outfits that I was putting it with but then yesterday I put it with my outfit and it just worked and so I think I'm gonna keep it if your Instagram following is similar to mine you will have seen the Onitsuga tigers everywhere the yellow and black ones that are like Kill Bill and I love those shoes and I love like a good pop of color in a shoe and the silhouette of the like flat footbally shoe is really nice but I got these ones they're just plain black and white I really wanted the adidas sambas I love the way that they look I think they're a good stable shoe they go with everything but they're just everywhere at the moment and I know that my individuality complex would like kick in at some point and then I just not want them anymore so I went for a slightly different shoe but a really similar vibe and they've got the little fun tongue at the end as well Lexola gifted me these sunglasses um I've been saving them for this event and it's sort of like space Themed and I got this silver unitard and I was going to wear them with it because I feel like they would go really well with it. Um, and I'm also going to Mexico for Christmas, so I can't wait to wear them then. Then Amia Studio invited me around to her studio and we met for the first time in real life, which was so nice because we have like an online relationship. We like you know, reply to each other's stories or like comment on each other's stuff. I think her Depop shop is insane. All of her drops are really well thought out and like the theme is really well thought out. Even the drop titles I love. And she had picked out a few things that she thought I might like and we also just had a bit of rummage through her stock. And um, she picked out these, which I actually probably wouldn't have chosen for myself, but I tried them on and I really liked them. They were like low to mid rise, they're Helly Hansen joggers. The cord at the bottom is adjustable so you can wear them in different ways. And I don't really own any actual tracksuit pants bottoms whatever this diesel top which is maybe my favorite or second favorite thing in this haul like it's so nice it's kind of like a towel material and i love the red detail and it's made me realize that i want more tops that aren't just cotton so like I, I want different textures and like slightly different features i just really feel like it elevates an outfit the fit of this is so nice so perfect goes great with the tracksuit bottoms and I'm obsessed with it. So I'm so grateful that I got to have this. And it goes really nicely with these Cavalli jeans. I also got from Vendemia. They always have Cavalli jeans and I've never bought them on their Depop because I've never known what size I would be. These are, I think, a waist 31. And I wear them sort of mid to low rise. They're also kind of sparkly, but not like too sparkly. So I can still wear them day to day, but also they'd be cute as like a night out jean with like a little top and some kitten heel. Even just seeing this stuff now, I want to go back to Vendemere Studio Studio and just have a good rummage because her stock is insane. Definitely go check out her Depop shop and also follow her Instagram because she teases her drops then and you can have a little look see and see the collections and drool over them with me the last thing is wild adidas and office shoes gifted me 
um not sure what's going on these adidas gazelles the color is so nice but i do kind of feel like this kind of colorway is more spring summer it would go really nice with my peachy den billy bag actually i just haven't worn them yet but i think it's because i'm kind of wearing more autumnal winter tones some spare laces a shoe brush and like a key ring. Oh, and lastly, Pilgrim jewelry. Let me pick out some stuff. And I have worn it so much since. I got these cute earrings. This ring, which all of my friends are gonna buy because they're all obsessed with it, rightly so. And some other bits, and they're really nice. And they haven't tarnished. I've worn them loads since. And I'm very grateful. So thanks, Pilgrim. I'm gonna end the video there. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, click that like button, click that subscribe button, and leave a comment. Let me know what you wanna see on my channel. Thanks, bye.